And welcome back. Planning your party to watch the ball drop, but haven't decided on the menu? Well, no worries, because personal chef Joy Parham Thomas is here to the rescue. She has some tasty treat ideas to serve up at your New Year's Eve bash. Welcome. Hi, Thanks Joy. Hi, me. Nice meeting you. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank and you for being holidays. here. Happy holidays <laughs> happy as holidays. well. So, right. Joy, what is Urban Country? So, Urban Country is my culinary brainchild. Uh, about four years ago, I just decided I didn't want to work for anybody else anymore. I wanted to create my own right. culinary lane. So I started a small business, and from that business now I host a, uh, I don't even know how many a year, but quite a few supper clubs <laughs> so a year. too many to and, count. <laughs> and, and themed right? oh, Enough, enough. <laughs> enough, it, enough. It's, it's growing, so everything is going good. But that is really what urban country is. It's a, it's me. It's I have a little country girl in me. I have a little mm -hmm. city girl little in urban. me. I have a little bit of <laughs> West African in me because of the way I grew up. A little uh -huh. bit of Latina. A little bit of everything. A little it's bit just of everything. Deep nice. of me. So I am urban country. Urban and that's country. What we feed cool. you. <laughs> so what do we have here? Tell me a little bit about what we have here. Okay. So today what we have here is just a really quick, um, you know, last minute on the fly New Year's Eve party. If you decide to have it kid friendly or family mm -hmm. friendly. Right. So we just have three items today. But the okay. first item is uh, our pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. And this oh, is a fancy. little. Right. <laughs> it's a little different from your typical pig in a blanket with, uh -huh. um, you know, croissant dough and things right. like that. So uh, I use some phyllo dough and just a mixture of spicy mustard and butter. Mm -hmm. And that's what this concoction is right here. Right. And between those different layers, you, uh -huh. you put a little bit of that in there to get that crust and that butteriness going when you bake it. Right. Yeah. So she's going to cut this for me so we can prep some. She trusts right. you with a knife. And I do I, trust you with a knife. And I noticed over there. I just want you to there. hold that thumb right there. Thank you. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's the lucerne. We want to talk about a little bit about the, the heavy cream. The lucerne. Oh, yeah. So Absolutely. So what I did was I made a little bit of homemade ice cream, and with that ice cream, we use the Lucerne cream, of uh -huh. course. Which is available at Acme, right? Acme, all your local <laughs> Just want to make sure. Oh, exclusively at Acme. Exclusively at Acme, it's, it's right. It's exclusive. Uh -huh. um, so, yes, yeah, so I used that to make some homemade ice cream, uh, the basics, sugar, eggs, cream. Mix that up, a little uh -huh. bit of vanilla. And this version right here is kid friendly. So what this is, is just a kid little friendly. bit of ginger okay. ale and a little bit of vanilla ice cream okay. to make them feel like they're a part of the party. You absolutely. know, they of like course. to do you what mommy and daddy right, does. Of course, yeah. right, absolutely. So um, the adult version obviously would taste a lot uh, better with a little bit of Prosecco, I uh -huh. say, or a sparkling wine of some sort. So sweet sparkling wine, a dessert wine goes really well with it. And you can kind of cheers with the kids and have them involved make them as feel well. Included. They feel included. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So you're going to help me throw together yes. some sliders. Some, all right, let's do this. Okay. Is this on or something? It's or? on, so we can crank up the juice a crank little bit. Crank up the juice a little bit here. And right here, I'm going to give you a bottom ah. and the top to Look your slider. There's like mini buns there. Like a little mm -hmm. mini bun thing here, right? It, exactly. One bite. And right here, we What's have some this? sriracha mayo. Ooh. Everybody loves sriracha nowadays, so. So, so some th tell me some of the places you have worked at or some places you have trained at. Um, you know, I've been around. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm the, sure. <laughs> I've, I've been around, but um, one of the most memorable places I trained at was actually uh, in Florida at in a resort Florida. called okay. um, a Marriott Resort, Marco Island Marriott Resort and Spa, uh -huh. and it had a golf course and everything. And right. it was the first time I understood everything I learned in culinary school, what it means to really work your way up and go from cutting potatoes to you right. know working in the opening of a fine dining restaurant. So I got to go from different avenues yeah. within right. that one resort and I learned so much there. And right. I had a really good executive chef. He was hands on. Absolutely. He let me know when I was doing good. He definitely let me know when I was doing bad. Is, is there a chef that you really would love to train with? <sighs> right now, no particular chefs. I just want to travel to different places and travel. experience different foods with different people. Different, you know, the locals, the real stuff. The real. That's I'm it. Actually put You'll put that on there. You got it. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, let me help you I'm out. set it on there. So you got your little slider right there. So on top of that. Okay. Wow, look at that. The That's holiday, good. you don't want things to be too messy. <laughs> so you don't need too much ketchup or anything. That's just a little bit of pickle red onion. Okay. Pickle you red offer onion. Any... Like, yeah. Oh, that looks so good, my God. That's I'm all you need is I'm one bite. Eat this one. That's for you. That's for that me, actually. I'm going to take a bite. You, you like know what? I love you. this. So what other things do you have coming up? Oh, okay. So February, I have, I can't release too many details because oh. things are still in motion right now, but we'll be doing an um, African diaspora event, a three-day weekend with um, the LaRue Group, the Chef Series Experience, and that'll be highlighting West Indian, Afro-Latina, mm -hmm. um, West African cuisine, East African cuisine, things like that. So I'll be involved in that and I'll be hosting the Supper Club. So hopefully oh, you guys awesome. can join yes. me. Yes, I would yeah, love to go to, right? We'll go gluten free. Ooh, nice. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can join me, but it'll be a really All good right. time. Well, I'm going to have, so have, have some of those drinks too. Handsome. I want to see. You one. Oh, that is this so, so, okay, so awesome. So good. Well, Try cheers, to get everybody. It over face. <laughs> Happy New Year's. Thank you. Happy holidays, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks again to all of my guests and a special thank you to my co-host, 
Dr. Tabisum. Cheers. Be here for being here. And thanks to all of you at home for watching. Make sure you tune in next time for another great show. And remember, take care of your body today and it'll take care of you tomorrow. I'll see you next time.